Miss Fry. What a pleasant surprise. Hello, Clara. I was just going to check on Lambeth since the asylum's closing. What brings you here? The children in my care have been falling ill. A usual tonics aren't working. A cane, too. <laughs> Are you certain you're feeling all right? Of course. I am, Miss. Clara! Is there a doctor nearby? Bring her inside. She simply collapsed? Yes, she said the others took tonic, but it didn't work. I should think not. Ever since Elliotson was murdered, the district has been overrun with counterfeit tonics. <laughs> this one needs proper care. But without the appropriate medication, she and the others will quickly decline. What do you need? I need supplies. Plenty of them. And medicine. Some of the less common ingredients are being stolen and sold at auction. I'd be happy to help. Here's the list. Miss Fry. Evie Fry. I'm Miss Nightingale. How do you do? Please hurry. We don't have much time. What could be happening? Wait there while I shop with my action. I have. Hell, another sad indictment of the state of London. What are you doing? Have to start hitting people when all I want to do is have a nice lie down. 
Supplies are meant for Miss Nightingale. I'm here to collect them. And they're already loaded on the cart. Please take them. Good Get up! Bag. You mean that cart? Yes. Of course it is. Please be careful. Some of those items are fragile. a moment too soon. I hope you brought the medication I requested. How is she? She will recover. Babylon Alley, the children. Thanks to you, we can distribute authentic medicine now. But is that a permanent solution? I will petition to have regulations put in place. Lambeth is in your debt. It takes a long time to change things. But I'm not going anywhere, Miss Fry.
Oh, Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. Experimenting, are we, Alec? Correct. And looking a bit frazzled. Nerves. It's those great oafs Static keeps sending around to coax me. He is offering a ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working in something in case they get too insistent. Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant, should they need a rise. Are you certain that it works? Not as such. I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. Oh, one must be the right formula. Let's find some Staric lackeys to target then, shall we? <laughs> Speaking of Staric, he is still transmitting false information. We could simply destroy his transmitters. His company's too well guarded. And the bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like opportunity has come knocking. <laughs> Oh dear, you never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. Let us instead play a little linguistic game with them. Um, take the bombs and climb onto the roof. Uh, when I see the name of uh, a fruit, toss one near the thugs. Right then. Oh, uh, oh wait, uh, I nearly forgot. Um, slip these into your boots and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. I think. Gentlemen, oh, I would ask you in for tea, but I'm afraid I'm running rather late. Enough of the nice teas. We've come to smash your place up, in we best. You got one of them telly what's it's in here, ain't ya? And you've been reading messages from the Steric Company. That is as untrue as the notion that the Steric Telegraph Company is emitting impartial information, sir. Come again? Your employer's promises are nothing but hot air. His operations are about to turn pear shaped. What you going on about air and pears for? Oh, I don't know. Feel rough. Oh, oh that's disgusting. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, kids, eh? Those playful young scamps get everywhere. Play delights me, and to think I worried you had the mental agility of a dollop of donkey's apples. Keep moving. Apples? I think he's trying to be funny. Oh, you dropped a no on Bill, you little sod. Oh, ain't me, Bez. Oh, go oh, blind me, it's got me throat. Oh, oh, those rascals throwing stink bombs again. It happens all the time around here. Right. Tell us where you keep that telly, what's it? I'll count to three. Three? Well, well, let's see how far you get. One. Do you really think I would keep it here? Do you see a cable? A telegraph without a cable is about as useful as a bell without a clapper. I'll give you a bleeding clapper. Well, bless my boots, you're as purple as... a plum. <laughs> a plum? I feel all wooded! Good show, Alec. Thanks to you, Evie. Is that your mere presence gave me courage and resolve I never knew I had. Dead. I'm glad I could help. No doubt about now it. it's time to shut down Stark's empire of propaganda. Come on, we haven't got all day. The longer we can keep Staric from spewing out false information, the more we can awaken the people with the truth about his operations. I agree. The sooner we can get there, the quicker we can act. Would you believe my mother says there are still some wives in her street that swear by that shooting star? So I took it upon myself to tell her neighbors the truth about the obnoxious draft. That's good, Alec. But you can't go round to every household in London town. No, I wasn't always welcome. It shows how false information can be as difficult to stamp out as fishwives profanities at Billingsgate. Or Berman at Smithfield. But if we can eradicate the source that continually feeds such detrimental trash, then little by little the truth will take the upper hand and the sham will be flushed out. And that's why we're here. We will have to get in without being detected, mind. I shall stand them while you get inside. I shall destroy not one, but three parts of the transmitter. He'll be as good as dancing before a public toilet without a penny. Easy, easy. Oh, 
over here. Yeah. I see. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. into quite an adventure. Oh, a tad fiddly, that one. But I've pulled it as well as a dentist pulls a rotten tooth. There. Move faster if you can. Jacob Eve, thanks are once again in order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. No need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage. And besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do a drop by. <laughs> ah. <laughs>
Mr. Fry. I told you to make an appointment. My schedule was open. You're fortunate I like you. <laughs> Internal combustion engines. Eight small syllables that mean a great deal of money. The engines will be delivered to Milner by train. Secure them for me, and he will be devastated. Hmm. I'll need a second train to pull this off. And I think I know just the man. So we have a deal, Mr. Fry? You're fortunate I like you, Miss Attaway. What makes you so sure I want something? Perhaps I saved you out of the kindness of my own heart. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let me tell you about the job. Miller's pulling a lot of cargo there. Just be sure to make the transfer. We'll get him out. Okay. 
Internal combustion engine. The end of horse-drawn transport. <laughs> it's like gazing into the future. And what is the going rate for the future, do you think? Uh, we're not selling them. You're giving them to your contact? You'd be paid all the same. <laughs> Who is this Pearl, anyway? How long have you been working with her? She's a business partner. That's all you need to know. Didn't make it to la -de da Slap some gold leaf here and there. I gave the wood a splash of shellac. I've holstered the lot. And how do you like the lampshades?
Nice togs. Nigel went out drinking with a gang last night. They ran up against some Templars and killed one. But Nigel was too sozzled to get away. Knew the constables have him up for murder. No.
your trap. This is going to go bad for you. Confess, and you'll save us all some grief. Oh, I didn't do nothing. So help me, Bob. <laughs> Drinks. The next thing I know, they say I burnt someone. Oh, Nigel. I had one too many. I lost all my things. There must be scatters all about. Oh, and there's a knife out there, too. Could you get them before the Rosses do? Shut up! Find a hat that fits him, that's a death warrant. She looks all right, Jackie. I just yeah. saw something hereabouts. Where on earth did it disappear to? We'll find a knife if I'm not mistaken. Thank <laughs> you. 
What the blazes was that? You should have listened when you had the chance. Bring the advance future of the bit. Hurry up about it. Possibly thinks he's hidden from sight. And what evidence are you holding this man? Why, on, uh, uh, Sergeant? I believe at a minimum you need a body. We can't find a thing, Inspector. You botched another one, Sergeant. Thank you. 